Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a wonderful day, and I am as excited today as I've ever been. This is an exciting day and a very exciting time for yours truly. First of all, I want to thank you for your prayers. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for the way that you have stood by me, and tonight, tonight, tonight is a very special and somewhat different night. As you know, if you're following this ministry, I am running uh, for the general board of the Church of God in Christ. My goal is to be one of the board of directors for our, our church. Twelve seats are open. I believe that uh, it is the will of God that we occupy one of the twelve. And so we have put our hat in the ring. We have launched our campaign. The general board is a godly, prestigious board that that helps assist the, the presiding bishop in governing what I believe is the greatest church in the world, the church of God in Christ. And the, the general board, of course, works along with the, the, uh, the general assembly, which is the only lawmaking and doctrine expressing body in our church. But this general board is so important. We have one, we have wonderful people on it. All of the seats are open and I want to be one of them to help uh, guide this great church that I'm a part of that produced a preacher who preached me out of my sins. You've heard the story back in November uh, of 1977, November the 20th, 1977. I gave my heart to the Lord Jesus and I learned the ways of this great church. And ever since I've met Jesus, Jesus, I've been a part of one denomination, that is this one, the Pentecostal holiness denomination of the Church of God in Christ. We are a holiness church. In fact, it was a holiness church, Brother Gary, before it became a Pentecostal church. And the holiness uh, is the lifestyle. It's how we live, how we conduct ourselves, how we behave, how we interact, how we treat our wives, how we treat our children, how we treat each other, how we treat the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, it, 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 it governs our ability to be law abiding citizens. Holiness should uh, even direct the way we vote, how we think, how we approach life. Holiness deals with every aspect of our lives and our family. Founder Bishop Charles Harrison Mason got filled with the Holy Ghost at the Azusa Street Revival. And after having been filled with the Holy Ghost, now you got a powerful uh, combination. You have the Holy Spirit operating on the inside to help us walk out and live out this holiness experience. And the Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So ours is a Pentecostal holiness church and my goal and my sincere desire is to keep it that way. Uh, my concern is that as we move forward and we contend with things like uh, being modern, uh, we, we contend with uh, to what degree we want to be inclusive and exclusive inclusive and exclusive because holiness is both it is both inclusive and exclusive there are is for everyone Jesus died for every man you know Jesus said and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men unto me that passage doesn't mean that all men will be saved but it does mean that Jesus Christ will reach out to all men regardless of race creed color, station in life, national origin, it doesn't matter who you are, Jesus Christ is for you. Well, holiness is for everyone. And, uh, and as we, so we are inclusive, but Jesus said this, 
those who obey me, those who love me, they're the ones who uh, uh, keep my commandment. There are uh, requirements. Praise God. We're saved by grace. But one of the proofs that we're born again is by the way we carry ourselves. Paul said that fornication and certain behaviors shouldn't be named once amongst us as believers. He taught that every man must know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and in honor. Yes. So uh, the Bible teaches that there's such a thing as the fruit of the spirit. And then the Bible teaches that there's the fruit of the flesh and those who walk in the fruit of the flesh will not inherit the kingdom of God. So you see this inclusive and exclusive concept of holiness and Pentecostalism. And my goal is to make sure that we do our best to include everyone Praise God who wants to be included, but exclude everything that's not like God. So tonight, 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 we are continuing with our launch. We just uh, had uh, uh, an initial one uh, this past Monday and and you guys were fantastic. So tonight we're doing wooden, uh, you see it on your screen there, wooden solid, strong and courageous. This is the campaign celebration service. We had the virtual campaign kickoff on May the 20th. Now here we're, we're having tonight the campaign celebration service right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. It's going to be awesome. Facebook Live, YouTube, we're going to be there at the God first official page, uh, Facebook Live, Upper Room Gospel, and we want you to join us. You're going to get more insight on questions like, who is Bishop Wooden? What does he bring to the table for the general board or to the general board? Uh, who supports him and how can I help him? Join me the night right here and listen. God has given me a word. In this day and time, we need the word of God. Have you ever seen anything uh, like we're seeing today? Did you ever think you would see these things? Well, I tell you what, if you've read this book, you're not surprised by what's going on in society and you're not bewildered and frustrated trying to find an answer nor a proper response because the answer is in the word of God. I hear the saints of old singing in my head sometimes. Everything's going down but the word of God. There was another song they used to sing, get in the word and stay there. Stay there till he come. Oh, get in the word and stay there. Stay there till he comes. Well, we're in the word and we're going to stay there. We're going to stay here in the word of God until Jesus comes. So I want you to join me. Come out tonight. Come out on time. We pray that the saints will be a part of this great, great uh uh, campaign celebration service, I will deliver a word from the Lord and you are going to leave uh, tonight uh, if, re regards to how, whatever, uh, how, uh, let me say this, regards to how you attend, whether you're here in person, on Facebook, or on YouTube, you're going to leave strong and courageous because we are going to be blessed in the word of God. So join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> I still get a kick out of that. Praise the Lord. I, I thank God that I get excited about the opportunity to teach and preach the Word of God. Join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.